Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to put tattoos on your pictures. Now, first things first is you're going to need a picture of either a model or just even a picture of yourself if you want to put a tattoo on yourself, obviously. And so once you've done that, you want to go and open it into Photoshop and you can do this by going to File and Open and selecting your image. Now once you've loaded it into Photoshop, you're going to want to find a tattoo that either suits you or the model. Um, obviously I went out and found one. Now this tattoo obviously don't go with this uh, person because I mean this is just a mock-up uh, just to show you how it's done. So you want to go on in there, type in tattoos, find a higher definition one. Um, there's loads out there so there's a big selection. Now once you've found one, save it and load that into Photoshop as well on a different tab. Now I've gone out and um, found this which is a platter of different uh, tattoos. Now if you find something like a tattoo and it's on a white background like mine, now obviously this is a high definition image um, so you know it's all uh, better if you get a high definition better than a low definition uh, image. So once you've loaded it into uh, Photoshop, uh, you want to double click that layer to unlock it, then click OK. Then from here, you want to select that tattoo from the backing. So you want to go over to the left hand side and uh, get the quick selection tool. And make sure it's on the little plus at the top. Then from here, just go over and select your um, image. This can take quite a while, so I'm just going to quickly do this. Um, not going to pay too much attention on this. Quickly do this. Um, if you do go over the boundaries of what you want, say if I go and select the wire and it goes a bit funny, like that. We don't want the whites in here, so we're going to go up to the top and select the minus tool and just put in just there, like that, and like so, in here. Now, uh, obviously, I've gone over and there's a few details that are out, even the leg. So, you want to go back to the plus, just select the leg, like that. So once that's done um, and you've selected what you want, um, we're going to go to Select, Refine Edge. Now this is going to, uh, you can select the view that you want, this is either on the black background or whatever you want. Now obviously I have uh, missed out a few bits like the white on the tail here and the white just here. Um, but obviously I'm just doing this very quickly to show you how it's done. Obviously you can pay a lot more attention on your tattoo that you want. So once you've done that, I'm just going quickly to this. And we're going to click a Smart Radius, bring that up. Let it load. Sometimes uh, uh, it, it's good and quite bad. Uh, depending on your tattoo, sometimes it takes a lot of the detail out which we don't want. Uh, we're going to hit the uh, decontaminate colours which is pretty good. Bring that right up. Obviously you're going to need to play with your settings because I mean depending on your tattoo at the time it can either, these settings can either take out a lot of detail and stuff like that which you don't want to take out a lot of detail so you're going to have to play around. Now the featherness, uh, you want it a little bit up, so it just feathers the edges, obviously not too far, because that's what you'll do. So just play around. Now once you've got the exactly the way you want it to be, you want to click OK. So once you've done that, it's done exactly the same. Now I'm going to go on to the other picture that I've uh, done, which is here. This is a lot better selection of the dragon I want. So if I zoom in, like so. 
Now from here, I'm going to go to the select tool, which is on the left hand side at the top. Click that. Now we're going to drag this over to our image of the model to here. Let's delete that other dragon so you can see what we're working on. So let's bring it down like there. Now we're going to hit Ctrl and T to free transform. Now we're going to bring it down um, to any size that you want. Just turn it like that so it goes with her body. And then we're going to click the tick icon at the top. Now from here we're going to go to the blending mode and we're going to select multiply. This is going to make it a lot darker. Now we're going to bring the opacity down to around 40. Depending on your image, play around with the opacity. I'm going to bring it down to around about 43. That should do. That should be okay. Just to show you what it looks like. Now depending on your image at the time, say if your model's turned to the side and maybe you want the uh, tattoo to go look like it's uh, going round her side and you know blending in with her body and that which we can create so if we go to edit we're going to go to free transform so if I just click make sure that I've got that sorry go to transform and go to perspective now you want to bring one side down like that now we're going to bring this just there and click the tick icon and you can play around with this uh, make sure it actually uh, blends in with her body so seamlessly we're going to hit Control T because I want to free transform I want to bring the size up a bit more of the dragon I think that's a bit too small for her body and then we're going to hit the tick icon now I know what you're thinking, this probably this tattoo probably don't work with this image, I know totally that it doesn't work with this image, um, but it's just a quick mock-up to show you uh, what you can do and how it's done. So you can put a lot more effects on this, but I think that is the basic and normal and easiest way to do it. So um, please experiment with your tattoos and basically that's how it's done. So. I hope you liked this uh, tutorial and uh, I'll see you next time. Please comment, rate and subscribe.